All right. We'll open it up for questions, guys. Seemed like you were more aggressive running the ball in the second half. What, what was the difference, or was part of that Coach Napier's message, or how would you describe your mindset in the second half compared to the first half? No, I was just trying to play physical, you know, get the ball moving, you know, get the offense rolling a little bit. Uh, obviously, we couldn't move it that well in the first half, so you know, I tried to you know, help it, help us a little bit and try to be a little bit more physical on the ground. What was going on in those first few series where you guys just really just didn't seem to be in sync or anything? Was it Georgia or was it you guys? A little bit of both. You know, they had a, a great pass rush, and you know, our communication was a little off, and we didn't execute that well, and they executed it. No, a little better than we did. So uh, that, that was pretty much it. What, what do you think of the team rallying, though? I mean, you guys are down 28-3. A lot of teams could have followed it. You guys scored 17 straight. What did that mean to the team today and going forward? No, that's just us. You know, that's, that's nothing new for us. Uh, we've been playing games like that before this year, and you know we've always fought through it. So that's just us. That's just how we play ball. You know, We try not to put ourselves in a hole like that you know, earlier, but and that, that's just how we play ball. We like to fight and just play aggressive. Billy said that he challenged you guys um, at halftime. Can you divulge a little bit as to what that challenge was and how you think everyone responded? You know, I, I was just coming together and just playing aggressive. You know, uh, obviously, like you just said, you know, playing teams would, would just fold, fold their teams and just lay down. But you know, he, he challenged us to come out and play aggressive and bring the fight to them, and, and hopefully, we get a chance again. What made Georgia's defense uh, kind of hard to, to break? I wouldn't say that it's hard to break. You know, they, they just have great guys on their team. They have a, a, a great scheme. So whenever you, you have a team like that, you know, it's pretty easy for them to run their assignments and do what they do. You know, if they have 11 people doing their job, then you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, you know, uh, affect them and, and stop them. But you know, they have a great defense and a great scheme. Those guys know their scheme. What did you see on the 78-yard touchdown pass to Xavier? You no, know, that's that's just um, looking at the coverage. Uh, the call we had there it was basically like a quick out to Ricky, and uh, I was looking to throw that, but I saw the corner squat. And I just knew the whole shot was going to be there eventually, so I waited. I seen Xavier there. He just ran. Anyone else, guys? How do, you, how do you guys just kind of take this kind of effort going forward? I mean, you guys have four games left, and you're four and four now. I mean, just. Your thoughts about the mindset of this game and, and how, you, how you kind of build off it, you know, to close out the season with them? No, I was just trying to take the good things and, you know, improve on those and take the bad things, try to throw them out the window and just, you know, try to correct those things. You know, um, being consistent, that's probably one of the biggest keys in, in, in playing, you know, with a great team, being a great team and, and winning games. So uh, just being consistent and just growing as a team every day, well, that's pretty much the main goal for us. You know, last year, obviously, it kind of spiraled. So, I mean, what, what makes this group different or what makes this, this team different that, you know, that will repeat, you think? You know, just the brotherhood, you know. Um, when we're not even focused on last year, what happened last year, you know. Uh, once the new staff came in, that was you know, out the window. You know, uh, it's, it's, we're in the moment now. We just got to live in this moment. One of the bigger plays, early in the fourth quarter, you guys are down by 15 near midfield, fourth down, kind of had to throw it away. What, what, what happened on that play, do you remember? I don't necessarily remember what play you're talking about, but uh, you know maybe there was some, some pressure or something. Trying to take a set and just you know try to manage the game, and be smart with the ball. In the back, Anthony, I know it's always kind of talked about every afternoon about the defense and how you guys are at as a program to Georgia. Uh, I don't really know. You no, know, it's it's kind of hard to compare yourself to somebody else. You know, because uh, we do things totally different from them. They do things different from us. So, you know, it's kind of hard for us to actually compare it. But, you know, they're a great team. We believe that we're a great team. You know, we just got to improve on small things. What are your thoughts about ETN's performance today? You know, uh, he's a great player. You know, he's been playing well all season. You know, I'm proud of him. He's a young guy. And he goes hard. You know, so um, we got to have him on the team. Anthony, what do you guys rally around now? I mean, obviously, coming to the season one, when Division Conference, those goals can't be achieved now. What do you rally around these last, the last couple games this year? Just playing for each other, you know. Uh, that's pretty much been the main goal all year, sticking together, playing for each other. But, you know, uh, trying to focus on those things like winning the East or trying to get to the National Championship, you know, that could put a lot of pressure on us. But, you know, you play for each other and stand for each other, and hopefully things can fall in our, our favor. 
when you see the team rally like you did for 17 points there in the third quarter, what does that tell you about the team's capabilities in the next four ball games? You know, that just shows us that we can play ball however we want to play, play ball whenever we want to. You know, that's just starting fast and staying fast and finishing fast. You know, so um, at the beginning of the game, we got to play like, like we did in, in this third quarter. But, you know, that just shows us that we have a good team that knows how to fight. What was the difference then in the first quarter when you showed up and then in the third quarter that you showed up, you just said, you know, got to play the first quarter like the third? Uh, I don't think we, we came out as aggressive as we did in the third quarter. You know, uh, we were just trying to play it play by play and just let it happen instead of, you know, attacking it and, and playing ball how we play ball. So I think that was the, the key thing right there. Anyone else? All right. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you.